Welcome to our lecture online and now let's take a look at the Earth's orbit. Most of us know that the Earth's orbit is not circular, it is actually an ellipse. And of course the person who finally figured that out was Kepler. And a few other things that Kepler figured out because we of course now know the three laws of Kepler. And one of those three laws was that the Earth, since it's closer at some point in its orbit here, which we call the perihelion, when the Earth is at its closest point to the Sun, and at some point the Earth will be at its farthest point of the Sun, we call that the aphelion. Now it turns out that the aphelion coincides with the summer for the Northern Hemisphere, where most of the people live on the Earth, and uh, perihelion corresponds to the winter for the Northern Hemisphere. What Kepler said was, that the Earth actually moves in its orbit faster when it's closest to the Sun and it moves slower when it's farther from the Sun. Of course it wasn't until a few hundred years later when physicists figured out about kinetic and potential energy that we understood why that was so. Kepler simply used the information that he inherited from Tycho Brahe, which was a very famous astronomer, and studied that, that information and finally figured out that the Earth does go around an elliptical orbit, and when it does, it moves faster when it's here, and it moves slower when it's there. And what kind of an effect does that have on the Earth? Well, it turns out, in, in the Northern Hemisphere winter, we're closer to the Sun. What does that mean? Well, that means that, since the Earth moves faster at that point, that the winter will be shorter, and the winters will be warmer because we're closer to the Sun. And so therefore, the Northern Hemisphere at this point, since in our winters, in Northern Hemisphere winters, we're closer to the Sun, we're exper experiencing shorter and warmer winters. On the other hand, when it's the Northern Hemisphere summer, we're farther away from the Sun, we, re we receive then, therefore less energy. The Earth will be traveling slower in its orbit around the Sun, and therefore we'll have longer and cooler summers. Now, what happens though is that this actually changes because the Earth's precession, and again, let me show you what we mean by that, since the Earth rotates around like that every 26,000 years, and since at this point, it is about January 3rd when we reach the perihelion, so on January 3rd we actually are the closer to the Sun, but every 72 years that changes by about one degree. And so it turns out that in about 12,000 years, the Earth will be over here, in the Northern Hemisphere winter and it will be over there in the nor Northern Hemisphere summer. So what will, be, what will be the effect on the summer and the winter? Well at that point, over here, the Earth will experience its winter in the Northern Hemisphere when we're farther away from the Sun. Which means, first of all, you receive less energy so the winters will be much colder and on top of that the Earth will be moving slower during that time so our winters will be a lot longer. And the summers they will be shorter because we'll be zipping around much faster here and we'll be closer so our summers will be hotter but shorter. In the end, overall, the total energy received from the Sun and the way the temperature will change on the Earth is when the Earth is over here, in general, on average, the temperature in the world will be much cooler than in about 12,000 years. So, all things considered, if all things are considered even, we know that in the future, as the shape of the, of the Earth's orbit being an ellipse, is such that the Earth will be over here in the North Hemisphere winter and over here in the North Hemi Hemisphere uh, summer. In about 12,000 years, we'll have a much cooler climate. That's not good for us. So, anyway, now you can see how the elliptical orbit does have a tremendous impact in what happens on the Earth. This time, we're enjoying long summers, short winters. They're mild winters, short, so we don't have to worry about them. The summers, they're relatively cool and they're long, so we can enjoy them. So this is actually a good time for us in respect to the Earth's orbit. But it'll change as it always does.